Hi, and welcome to April's Crafting Addiction. It's time for another edition of April's Crafting Tip Tuesday. And today I'm going to show you how to spotlight. Spotlight is a very fun technique. Here's something that's already done. And as you can see, the circles, those are called, it's called spotlighting. I'm just going to spotlight certain areas of your, your picture. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and color your image. Now you can just color the images that you want to be spotlighted or you can just color the whole thing. You want to stamp two images of the same object and I stamp with black stays on only because my colors will not run together. So I'm going to put one aside and here is my image that I want to spotlight. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to color the, the parts for this one um, on the part that I want to be spotlighted because I'm going to punch that out with a one inch circle punch. So just bear with me as we color. Don't we wish we had coloring back? And then just to let you know that I'm not a perfect color, I do go out of the lines. But it does help to have a good tip on your, your marker. And I'm just using the Stampin' Up! marker here. And this one is called Always Artichoke. And let's see. Some over here. Okay. Now I'm just going to come over here and I am going to kind of do very carefully here only because I want some of this to spotlight on my other picture. So if you have a marker like I do, you're not going to want that for the little tiny images you do. Okay. I'm just going to come over here and do this side. The parts I want in uh, spotlighted again. I'm going to color that and that. And that. Okay. Kind of get the idea now. And I'm just going to come in here and do my little centerpiece, the body of the of the butterfly. Okay, now that you got the idea. Now I'm just going to take my circle punch and I'm just going to come in here and punch out pieces of my butterfly. I tend to do one at a time because this butterfly has got a lot of detail to it. So I punched out here. So I know that this it's going to go somewhere over here. And roughly, right there. 
So I'm just going to snail it down. I'm going to snail it down. Go back to lining it up again. Well, you can just lay it on top. Let's see if this works. Ah. I'm just going to gently lift that up. And voila. How about that? Okay. Again, I'm just going to take parts of the, the butterfly, lay my image on top, line it up the best that you can, go ahead and put some snail. up and lift up. Okay, you see how that's coming together? And you're just going to do that for how many times you want. You don't have to do... Spotlighting is not doing the whole image. You don't want to do the whole thing like this. But, I mean, if you want to, you can, but... The whole idea of spotlighting is just to get certain areas and highlight that particular part of your image. Okay. And I'll do a little bit more. I need to get my scissors so I can cut. Looks all. Put in my scrap bag. And come down here. And snail her up. Put my image back on. Okay. And I might go ahead and just do the center of a little bit of the butterfly end of the body just to be so different I just picked a pair of random scissors to do this okay now I'm just going to come in here and punch it out Lining it up. Snail her down. Voila. Okay. So that's the whole idea of spotlighting. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Come back next week when I'll have another tip. I believe the tip will go, the tip that I'm going to show you how to do will be how to emboss resist. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.